Hello everyone, in this session we are going to talk about binary search algorithm and we'll do the implementation of this algorithm in Apex. Previously I've created a video on collections in Apex series. So we have three types of collection in Apex that are maps, sets and lists. In other programming languages we have arrays. Arrays are basically implemented using list in Apex. So within arrays we have different searching techniques and uh, with it, for those searching techniques we have its time complexities. So we have basically two types of searching techniques for an array that, uh, that is linear search and binary search. Before going to binary search, let's discuss linear search. So linear search is also known as a sequential search and search is a basic and it is a basic algorithm used to locate a specific element within a list of array or of elements. And this works by examining each element one by one until the desired element is found or until all elements have been checked. Uh, linear search is not a efficient algorithm, especially for large data sets as its time complexity is big of n, where n is the number of elements in the list. Now let's take a look at this algorithm. So I'm in my Visual Studio code and uh, this, is, this is one of the list which we have initialized and it has this elements. Now we want to find the target 2 here. So linear search says that just iterate over the array one by one, one element at a time and check if that element is equal to the target or not. And if it is equal to the target, just print the index. So let me select it and let me do execute anonymous with the currently selected text. So we can see that uh, we got this uh, response that target is found at index five. So uh, this was a basic linear search implementation. The time complexity of this algorithm is big O of n. So let me go back to the slides. So now let's talk about binary search algorithm and how it is an efficient algorithm. So the precondition for binary search is the array should be sorted. So binary search is an efficient algorithm for finding a specific element within a sorted list of array. It works by dividing the search interval in half and eliminating half of its elements, making it faster than linear search. Bin binary search has a time complexity of big O of log n, where n is the number of elements in the sorted list. This makes it particularly useful for large data sets. So now let's see an implementation of this algorithm in Apex. So, so now, uh, now we have to implement binary search. So the required condition, as I said, the array or the list in Apex should be sorted. So if we take the li uh, linear search approach, then we will have to search for an element one by one. Uh, now with binary search, we find the middle element of the element and then we see if the middle element is greater than the target or less than the target. So we will uh, we will calculate the middle element. The middle element is 13 here. Now we want to find the target 20. So we will check if 20 is greater than 13 or 20 is less than 13. Since 20, uh, since the middle element that is 13 is less than 20, that is the target, we'll move our, we only need to search in the right part of the array. So we are basically Im uh, eliminating half of the array elements in every iteration. So had the target been less than 13, we only had to search in the left part of the array because the array is sorted. So with every iteration, we are uh, eliminating the half of array elements. We will start by initializing the start and the end. The start would be our zeroth element of the target and end would be the last element of the target. So our, uh, our condition to break the loop is if start is greater than the end. If the start index becomes greater than the end, then we can say that the element is not found. So this is our binary search implementation. We have initialized an array that is sorted. Now we have put our start as zero and we have put our end as, as the last index. Now we want to search for integer 20. We will use a while loop and we will say while start is less than equal to the end. And then we will calculate the middle element. The middle element, the formula to find the middle element is last minus uh, first divided by two plus the first element. So we will check if the middle element is equal equal to the target. So this will this would be our first condition. Like if the uh, target is equal equal to the middle element. If not, 
then check if the middle element is greater than the target if it is greater than the target then we have to search in the left part of the array make the end end which was the last element now have we have to make it uh, to to middle minus one that is we have to search in the left part of the array if not then make start as middle plus one so we have to search in the right part of the array so let me copy paste this code and run it in the developer console. I have copy pasted the code in my developer console and I'll uh, check open logs and I'll execute. So we have to search for the target 20. So, so our target is at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th index. So let me click on execute and let's see what is the output. And let me click on debug only and we we found the index at target is equals to 5 and the co time complexity of this was better than linear com linear search that is big O of log n. Talk about time complexity of binary search. So as we discussed time complexity of binary search in worst case is big O of log n. So how can how did we calculate this? So we, we, we know that after every iteration the size of the array becomes half right like either we have to search in the left part or we have to search in search in the right part. So based on this uh, thing we can create a sequence uh, that uh, the every time the size of the array becomes half till only one element is present that is our target element. So we can say that first it is n, then it, the number of elements are n by 2, n by 4 and n by 8 till we have only a single element. Now uh, if we follow the above sequence, so in the worst case the formula can be derived as, as n divided by 2 to the power of k is equal to 1 because we can uh, write 1 as, so we can write it uh, we can derive this formula n divided by 2 to the power k is equals to 1 because n can be written as n divided by 2 to the power of 0. This second element can be written as n divided by 2 to the power 1. This can be written as n divided by 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power of 3 and uh, we can say that 1 will be equal to n to the power 2 to the power of k. So by this we can say that n is equals to 2 to the power k we can will take log both sides and we can will get the value of k that is log n base 2 that is our time complexity of binary search. So let's solve some lead code questions. So we have solved we will solve lead code 704. So if I go to lead code 704. So this is our lead code 704. It says that given an array of integer nums which is sorted in ascending order. And, and an integer target write a function to search target in, in nums if target exists then return index otherwise return minus 1. You must write an algorithm in big O of log n times. As soon as you see the statement that you have to perform the search in big O of log n time then go with the binary search because binary search is the algorithm which provides us this complexity. So we have already solved this problem. So if I'll go to my uh, execute, if I go to my execute anonymous window, so if we have found the target, we'll return that index, that is we'll return middle, otherwise we will return minus one. So if we run this code uh, and we pay, uh, it would give us the, we will be able to pass this question. So we have already written the answer for it. So now. Let's solve lead code 35 search insert positions. So it says that given a sorted array of distinct integers and a target value return the index if the target is found if not put in order. So the question here says that if you find the target in the array then return the index at what index is our target present otherwise let's say 7 if we take the target as 7 we cannot find that in the array, right? So we have to uh, provide them at what index this 7 should be put at. So since this is a sorted order 1, 3, 5 and 6, after 6 we should have 7. So 7 should be at the 4th index. So hope you understood the question. Now let's see what will happen in this case. So we have the nums array as 1, 3, 5 and 6 and target as 7. In the iteration 1, we will 
calculate the middle. The middle is start minus n divided by 2 that is 1.5 and since we are storing it in an integer format we are storing the middle in integer the point uh, the decimal will be removed and the value will be stored as a whole number that is 1. Now we will search we will see if num of 1 if, uh, now we will see whether if the num of 1 is equal to greater than or less than the target so num of 1 is 3 so we'll see if 3 is less than 7 yes condition of binary search that if the middle value is less than target then we have to increment start by middle min middle plus 1 so the se in the second iteration we will say that if uh, in the second iteration we will have start equal to 2 and end equal to 3 our middle uh, will calculate the middle that would be 3 minus 2 divided by 2 that is uh, 0 0.5 0 0.5 plus start start is 2 that is 2.5 so if we round it our answer would be 2 so uh, then we'll see if nums of 2 is less than target yes so start would be middle plus 1 so our now for so in our iteration 3 our start and end would be 3 and 3 so we'll calculate the middle our middle will come out to be 3 so we now uh, we will see if num of 3 is less than target yes num of 3 is less than target so our start would be mid plus 1 that is 4 so our start would be 4 now this condition where start is less than equal to end this condition will break this condition will break and will come out of the loop so here our start will be start will be 4 and end would be 3 so now here we then we will just return start because for our condition to break uh, start should be greater than end and start would be start would give us the value where the index should have been so let's say had it so let's say our target is 7 we didn't we did not find 7 in this uh, list so 7 should have been at this position that our start points to that is start is equals to 4 only then our loop will break and we can say that we didn't find the element had the element was present in the array it would have been on the position that start is pointing to so that's all uh, let me copy paste it and let me run it in the execute anonymous window and let's see what see what it will print I, the code has executed let me click on debug only boom and the answer is 4 that means our 7 should have been at index 4 so we can so we have uh, now we have solved uh, lead code 35 as well let me show you one more thing I have a, a study plan specific to binary search so if you want to practice more questions related to binary search you can click on this by uh, this study plan you can go to this study plan and do the questions for binary search also do subscribe to my channel because in the next video uh, i'll provide you uh, the binary search questions that i got for my amazon interview so thanks everyone for watching this video and do subscribe to the channel for more such videos thank you